Yo, Cyborg Grandpa, thank you for the good luck. Yes, I will be uh, running this at SGDQ. Gosh, Cyborg Grandpa, yeah, the, the Flynn and Freckles run is super fun. Thank you for the good luck, Midori Trim. Yeah, the Shantae series is super fun. I've enjoyed all of the games. Yeah, Cyborg Grandpa, I've got I've got a list of like I've got a list of games that I want to learn to speedrun. It's 20 or 30 deep now, so I definitely know how that goes. D-pad is a lot less uh, sticky is not the right word. It was tending to give me longer presses than I was trying to give it um, when doing really small adjustments. I got a new uh, new X-Bone controller today. So far, pretty good. Please. Ah, 
a cyborg grandpa. I, I find the, the X-Bone D-pad to be among the least terrible of modern controllers. Oh, you've got a 360 controller. Yeah, those are abysmal. The 360 controller D-pad is, I think, the worst among modern controller D-pads. Speed coin, how's it going? So I just like, I reset here, right? That's what I do. I actually have theories about what, uh, what Microsoft was going for with the 360 D pad. There are people who really, really like the, um... The D-pad that you had on the Genesis controller, which was more like a directional disc than anything. I specifically don't think that that's it, due to the fact that we already had um, the PlayStation and the PS2 with, uh, with actual D-pads. I've heard that it's better for fighting games. I've, I've heard people make that assertion. Um, I've never been particularly good at fighting games, and the only fighting game that I've even been halfway decent at has been Arcade Street Fighter 2, uh, which you play, obviously, with an arcade stick. We have exactly enough money, so that's nice. Yo, Fushing Machi, how's it going? Watching people who are good at fighting games play fighting games is really fun. Um, anybody who's not already following Tai Tuesday, he does uh, both DBFZ and he's pretty damn good at that. And then he also does... Uh, he's been going through everything in Fight Cave, which I guess is a multi-fighting game platform thing. And it's been really fun to watch him and I forget who the other person that he does it with is, but... The other person is extremely good at fighting games, just in general. Yeah, I mean, Ty is a delight, just period. But his fight cage stuff has been super fun.
phone out of the way. I can't see chat. This is sitting on my charging stand. Oh, make no mis make no mistake, I definitely don't get like any benefit other than just enjoying watching out of his DBFZ stuff either. Although he has occasionally had like FGC professional people on to teach him shit, so if you were inclined to enjoy fighting game type things, um, I think that stream could could actually be a bit. Yeah, fighting games never were my thing. I had an employer who had a Street Fighter cabinet, but other than that... Like, it's not a thing that I tend to hunt out. Any money's south of where I want to be at this point. Yeah, Midori, it's gotten really, really fun. Um, ever since Nori organized a, um, a tournament for this game, it's gotten super, super competitive. It's just delightful what's happened to the leaderboards. I just took second place in this category back after holding it for a very long time with no effort whatsoever. Um, I finally took it back yesterday. Well, technically I got the time two days ago. My run got verified yesterday. Oh, wait. I thought that I picked up a monster map for some reason. Ready! 
mean, Midori, I feel like up until I started running no out of bounds a year and a half, two years ago now? Like it was it was like a, a wasteland. Like these categories were were unrun enough that I was able to take world records from Turkey because even even Turkey didn't give a shit about uh, the no out of bounds categories. That is incredibly kind of you, uh, pushing Machi. Yeah, I mean, any person is definitely the most popular. There's no doubt about that. That's true, irrespective of which subcategory you're running. Normal mode, pirate mode, out of bounds, no out of bounds. The fact that we just had a no out of bounds any percent tournament uh, is why the leaderboard for any percent is as active as it is, though. Uh, the GDQ category is going to be based on a bid war, uh, depending on which wins. Uh, JT Norimaki and I will either be racing in All Dark Magic or Any Percent. How wild can the Out of Bounds get? How much time save does it represent? I think it's like 10-ish minutes overall for Any Percent. Um, a little bit less for All Dark Magic because there's a bunch of stuff that you skip in uh, any percent that, uh, that you're not able to skip in All Dark Magic. Oh, nice. You yeah, stressful. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that it's apparently a bid war and not just a incentive. Um, because there's no reason to bid for any percent. Like, yeah, it's, you know, 10 minutes less, you know, 10 minutes quicker. But the final boss is cooler. The routing is more interesting. There's, other than it just being a faster category, I don't see a really compelling reason to prefer any percent over all dark magic. How's it going, uh, Garrett?
Well, no, it's always no out of bounds. Like, I just, I don't find the out of bounds run to be particularly compelling. So, I've never even bothered learning it. So, it's all dark magic versus any percent, but there's no out of bounds versus no out of bounds. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, you meant. Oops. Well, that was, that was real good. Yo, Carrot, thank you very much for 100 bits and for 100 more bits. I can see that. I can definitely see enjoying breaking the game. And there's a lot of games like that that I do find compelling. But in this game particularly... In this game in particular, I just don't find the, the Out of Bounds gameplay to be more compelling than the non-Out of Bounds. Which is rare for me, to be sure. I think my, my reputation is preferring my games be as broken as possible. Shoutouts to JT Norimaki. Stolen his pipe player. Yeah, Risky Shuffle is pretty broken, but I mean, that's. It's not as broken as. as consumable items. Uh, I'll you know, during uh, screen transitions to put you into an out-of-bounds state. My favorite thing about the Risky Shuffle is I can definitely understand exactly, like, knowing nothing about the way that this game is programmed, I know exactly how the, the Risky Shuffle ended up coming to be in game logic. Yo, Amethyst. Practice is going pretty well. How are you doing? a genie she should be able to fly and go through walls okay i've got two problems with that um one she's not a genie that's kind of the plot of the game like that's the whole point of this one and then two uh she's only a half genie which means that she doesn't actually have wall flying powers just animal powers Garrett, you're going to be somewhere without internet access for the duration of SGDQ. That stinks. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you very much for the 291 bits. Um, but I would prefer that you just be able to watch GDQ instead. But you'll have a week's worth of VODs to, uh, to watch. So there's that at least.
rude. that does not make up for it. Yeah, that's called a void entry. Um, they don't save time. In fact, they lose time, but... Please? There we go. Four money short. How's it going, Yorgi moment? Oh, make no mistake, I'm not... Like, I still go for those. Void entries are swag as hell. They're worth it. Yo, the author blues is in my chat. He's doing some super fight balls. He's very rude. Or avoidances. I don't think that I've ever seen them. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, that was that was good. Amethyst, is there a YouTube of that? Or Lion Bird? Because I would love to know what you're talking about. I'm doing pretty well tonight. opposite of what I needed to do. Jump, enter, move, and shoot all in the same frame. Sounds like it's going to be tough to do given that I play on controller. I'll play around with that though. Uh, it, it's the more that you speedrun a given game, the more that you learn kind of which parts of the run you can delegate to muscle memory. So I can read the chat. I feel like Pokemon, you have a lot of stuff that you have to keep track of.
Like right here, I get to just, I'm holding left and mashing B. So I can read chat. Oh yeah, I'm sure that. Oops, there's no text box there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not impossible. Since it's a bunch of stuff on one frame as opposed to a bunch of stuff on a specific frame, that helps too. Monster Milk yet. Or Super Monster Milk. I think I've got one regular. Sad gal, hope you're doing well. Purple block boss is easy in this category. Uh, I'm not sure that that's true. I'm not surprised. It's either very late or very early. Perfect. I'll be streaming for a few hours. Rude. 
Super rude. Yeah, Squid Baron's great. Just as a character. He is super, super funny throughout the entire series. Machi, thank you for dropping by. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. And yeah, mini wings really hard. People who are good at it are amazing to me. That's great. Oh yeah, I still play Go. I think that's one of those games that you can never seriously give up.
Yeah, definitely. I, I always enjoy wa uh, watching. I also enjoy watching Go, although it is no longer trivial to get Baduk TV in the US, which is a bummer. Um, but no, I enjoy playing Go. I enjoy helping others learn how to level up and go. John Saruzi. Yeah, Baduk TV, which is the Korean uh, Go television. Uh, well, you are correct. It is vaguely Korean if being a channel that largely is only accessible from South Korea is your definition of something that is vaguely Korean. No, I, I figured that, that that was stream lag uh, causing you to to say that. practice dark, the all dark magic category uh, I, I practice I've been practicing both all dark magic and any person um, I've been told that uh, there's gonna be a bid war at SGDQ for which which category we do um, and you figure all dark magic is a strict superset of of any percent so Putting more time into all dark magic makes sense. Oof. That would have been game over because I don't have an auto potion. Is ending a word in oop uh, a common Ukrainian thing? I didn't know that.
savable, but suboptimal for sure. Oh yeah, I had the regular monster milk that was part of it. Yeah, it was uh, for having um, regular monster milk that was fastish. enabled low latency mode um i enabled it when it went alpha and it showed up in my options and then it disappeared from my options and then i've i've heard that low latency mode is just global now i think but if i have to go and re-enable it no i'm not using low latency mode come on Dory Trin, thank you very much for the good luck. Have a fun time lurking. I hope the rest of your evening is delightful. chambers with the sub. Thank you so much. Anybody in chat who's not already following CL Chambers, he is an amazing streamer, an amazing speedrunner, just a delightful person and somebody that I think deserves way, way more support than he gets. And 100 bits. Thank you so much. That is immensely generous and very appreciated. Since I have had a couple of hosts tonight so far, uh, just for anybody who doesn't already know, all of the money from this stream, be it from subscriptions or cheers, all of it goes to the Extra Life uh, charity drive that's linked in my stream info. So, yeah, give, give Seal Chambers some love. Oh no, I'm the worst at this video game. As I was saying, give Seal Chambers some love, not just for supporting the stream and making me feel real good, but also for helping out sick kids, because that's, that's fucking awesome.
yeah, this game is on just about everything. If you want to speedrun it, you want to pick up either uh, Steam or PS4, but if you just want to play it casually, uh, it's on uh, DS, it's on... Uh, it's on, of course, Steam and PS4, it's on the, uh, it's on the Switch. Yeah, the Slice Match, thank you very much for the good luck. I'm doing pretty okay tonight. Oh god, what? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Saving a little bit of time here. It actually didn't matter, but like the reason that I went into that menu was because I knew that I needed to select a different item. Hey, Alda. How's it going? All right. Well, now we're on pace, so I'm going to have to still go for sweat. Nope. Got the pirate slide. We didn't get the, uh, the scared bird, though. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And this run has gone from being really quite bad to somehow PB-able, so that's kind of neat. I don't know what I killed there or what it would have dropped. I don't need any more drops, so it doesn't matter, but... I should learn to do up and over. I'd say it's like five seconds. Let's have a clean climb. Actually, I think that a clean climb saves me like five seconds here. better than my PB, but it wasn't good. That was bad menu. And I'm down a shampoo, so we're going to have to be really careful here. Terrible RNG.
terrible, terrible, terrible first uh, phase. That would have been game over. Uh, your demons. Um, Pandanet, KGS, World Badoop slash Oro, uh, Tygen, Fox, Tom. Yo, Airkick72, how's it going? Thank you for the GG. I see Valentine, thank you very much. Good evening. How's it going? Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you telling me that I did okay. Nowhere near where I want my time to be, but this does improve second place, so there's that.
because we barely had enough to even load Reddit. That's not a good amount of bandwidth.